Hey babes, so I'm back with a get ready with me video. I haven't done one of these in a very long time, so I thought now would be the perfect time. Hope you enjoy. So I'm starting with my Cirque Cell Blood Serum. This is the eye gel. This just helps with my dark circles. It helps with the puffiness, and I really love the way it makes my skin feel, especially since that area is very, very delicate. And next I'm going to take my Cirque Cell ABO blood serum and this is the face rejuvenation this stuff is incredible i've showed you before in another video it actually makes my skin feel really refreshed and it keeps my face from oiling up now i'm using my professional face primer this is going to go underneath all my makeup you've seen this before and i may be lisping right now it's because i just cut my wisdom teeth out so i sound a little funky Next, I'm taking my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is my go-to foundation since forever. You all know that. I've yet to find something that actually beats this foundation. <laughs> now, I'm taking my Glamier Flathead Kabuki Brush. This is a sub. This would be a substitute for the Sigma Flat Kabuki Brush. It's um, more affordable. And now, I'm taking my Pro, Pro Contour Palette. And I'm taking these two colors and I'm going to blend them in together and this is going to set my foundation. Next I'm using this Sigma Brow Wax and this is basically just going to keep my brows in place. So what I'm doing here is I'm standing my brows up, especially now that I changed the shape of my brows as many of you have noticed. And this is actually going to make my brows look a bit more full instead of um, painted on. And I'm going to take my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Auburn. And this is what I'm going to use to shape my brows. So basically I kind of have a half brow and then the ending or the tip is where I create just a new shape. And then I'm just using brush like strokes kind of painting in the hairs and then I'm shaping the edges once I'm finished with that I'm taking my MAC uh, eyeshadow color in the I'm sorry my MAC eyeshadow in the color script and I'm using that to lightly coat the gel and this is just going to give it more of an orangey look so it matches my hair a little bit more so my brows aren't completely totally brown and then I'm just taking my Estee Lauder foundation with a lip pencil and I'm just cleaning up my brows just so I have those sharp edges and everything looks nice and neat And here is the final look of my brows. So now I'm taking my Urban Decay Potion Primer. This is going to be for my eyeshadow. I'm just placing that all over my lids. I'm not going to go all the way up to my brow bone. As you know, I'm not a big fan of that. Now I'm going into my Smashbox Double Exposure Palette. And I'm taking this color called Quartz. And I'm using this as my base color. This is going to be for my eyelids. And I'm just applying it really quickly. It doesn't have to be neat. Only because I want kind of a, sh a subtle eyeshadow look. So I don't want any anything too dramatic. And then I'm taking this dark brown in the palette. And I'm just going to apply that on the outer corners and my crease. But I'm not going to make it very dark. Like I mentioned before, I want it to be a bit more subtle, so I don't want like a huge cut crease or anything. And now I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend out any harsh edges. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And this is what you should have. Next, I'm taking my Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer from IT Cosmetics. As I mentioned before, I am in love with this concealer. So I'm just taking one of my contour brushes from Glamier and I'm applying that underneath my eye. And then I'm taking the kind of beauty blender on a stick from Glamier Cosmetics and I'm applying that 
I'm using that to blend out my under eye concealer. Next I'm using this translucent powder from my Pro Contour Kit Palette and I'm lightly dabbing that over my concealer just to set it. Next I'm taking this shimmery brown from my Smashbox Palette and I'm going to apply that underneath on the lower lash line, kind of smoke it out a little bit. Now I'm taking this color called Belong and applying that, I'm applying that on the inner corner of my eye just to give it some highlight and make it look like my eyes are glowing. Now I'm taking my Total Me 2-in-1 mascara slash eyeliner and I'm going to be using this to create my eyeliner. I just love the way it makes my eyeliner look so, so dark and so matte. And now I'm just going to use the wand to apply the mascara. Next I'm taking these eyelashes from Ardell and they're the fashion lashes and I got these at Sally's Beauty Supply. They were about $5. And I'm just going to apply some mascara on my lower lash line. So next, I'm going to take this dark brown color from my Pro Contour Palette from Glamier, and I'm using the fan brush from Glamier, and I'm applying that to create this soft, subtle contour underneath my cheeks. And this fan brush is life-changing. <laughs> next, I'm taking I Am Sin, this is the color ros Rosette. Sorry, I can barely pronounce words. And this blush is so pigmented. As you can see, all I did was dabbed it in once and look at the color payoff. This color is incredible. I'm obsessed, obsessed with it. It is my current favorite blush ever. And it's going to last forever because, like I said, you saw how pigmented it was. So now I'm taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And you can put this on before you put on your makeup or you can put it on after. And I'm just using it to set my makeup. Now I'm using my Vaseline Lip Therapy since my lips have been super duper dry and this is just going to be kind of like a primer for my lipstick. And then I'm taking this Beautique Lip Liner in the color Auburn and I'm just lining my lips right now. And here is my most favorite, favorite red matte lipstick. And this is the Kat Von D lipstick in the color Outlaw. Right now it looks a little bit pink, but once the lighting changes, you'll see the true color. And it is a true, true red. The best red I have ever come across. I love it. And there you go. See, it's more red. It was just the lighting that was kind of giving it off. And this is the final makeup look. So for my hair, it's the same exact routine that I've done in like 50, other, <laughs> 50 of my other videos. I'm just separating it from the bottom. Here I'm using a 3 quarter inch curling iron. And I got that one at Sully's Beauty Supply. So I'm holding it for about 7 seconds, releasing it, and then placing a clip. And I'm, do I'm creating horizontal sections. So I want everything to go horizontally. And as I mentioned before, if you want a more detailed breakdown, I do have other tutorials. I have plenty of other tutorials that break down this whole segment here on how to curl and the way to create the waves and everything. And this is what you should have. So the bottom's a little bit messy, but it's okay. It's going to be covered by all the other curls. So now I'm just unclipping everything. 
loosening everything up and just running through running my fingers through all my hair to break up the curls and a lot of you have asked me about my haircut my haircut I have layers in it it would be considered more of a midi but I don't really um, tell my hairstylist a certain style she just knows how to cut it because she specializes in vintage cuts her name's Tara and she's from Synergy Salon in Tustin um, I'll put her Instagram account down below so I just brushed everything down and I'm placing these uh, kind of duckbill clips just to make sure that the top section of my hair is smooth and then I'm going to focus on the bottom of the curls and all I'm doing is just brushing out the curls and this gives it a very full effect because I have layers so it's a lot easier for me and my hair is shorter these hairstyles are a lot easier with shorter hair and once I get the fluffiness that I want I'm just going to spray some hairspray and set everything in place so now with the front I'm doing the same thing I'm separating the sections and then I'm teasing separating again teasing now I'm spraying some hairspray at the bottom and I'm going to smooth everything out you want this to be perfectly smooth you don't want any flyaways and I'm using my hand to just kind of be an anchor for my hair so it doesn't fall flat and spraying some hairspray to set it so just use your fingers to kind of mold the bang the way you want it and here is the final hair look and now here is my favorite 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 thing about this whole look this is the voodoo vixen dress in tiger print from pinup girl clothing and i mean i mean if if you don't like cleavage then i'm very sorry you should not be watching this but this dress is like cleavage central so if you want to get a little bit more cleavage, this dress is perfect. The cross front just makes everything go well together. It makes it look more unique than other dresses. You hardly ever see any cross fronts anymore. And this is just the back of it. It really gives you a nice silhouette. It hugs you in all the right places. And as I mentioned, the cross front just gives it a very nice touch. And I just love the tiger print of this dress. And here is the bottom portion of the dress. You can just tell that so much detail and design went into it. I love the little flared sides. It kind of gives it the effect of having a bow on the side. And again, it creates a nice silhouette. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I love you tons.